Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm not going to be showing my face in this video, but I just wanted to talk about the Mortal Kombat roster and do my predictions. And yeah, so here's my roster. As you could tell, there's more than 25 people here. Uh, there's three slots that are DLC, and I'll get to them when I get to them. Uh, I guess there's three sections, not slots, but you know what I mean. Also, Katana and Liu Kang were cut out of the picture for some reason. So, Katana and Liu Kang are under Raiden and Fujin, and I'll explain. Anyways, let's start with the bottom two, which you can't see. <sighs> Katana and Liu Kang. So, it's obvious that they're going to be in the game. King and Queen of the Netherrealm. So, why would they not be in the game? Also, we've seen some, like, gameplay clips of Liu Kang, so it's pretty obvious that they're going to be in the game. The next row, we have Raiden and Fujin. Raiden's already been confirmed, and, you know, Fujin was non-playable in MKX, and people seem to want him. So, they're probably going to bring him in. Also, they need, like, a good god figure. One of, like, the gods. He's the god of wind. The third row, we have Takeda, Scorpion, who has been confirmed, along with Sub-Zero. And then we have Frost, who's not yet been confirmed, but seems pretty likely she'll be in the game. To me, personally, I'm not a fan of Frost, but I do think she'll be on the roster. And I hope Takeda's on the roster, because he was my favorite from MKX. But I don't think they would bring in the combat kids to just have them killed off. Also, if we're going to have... Sub-Zero's Prodigy, why not have Scorpions? Plus, Takeda was just the best new character out of MKX, so... By the way, I'm sick, so if I sound gross, it's because I'm sick. The next row is Cabal, Kano, Sonya, Cassie, Jackie, and Kung Jin. So Cabal, Kano, and Sonya have been confirmed. Cassie's been teased, like... In one of the trailers, it showed her. It seemed like she was doing an intro, so I'm pretty sure she's in it. Uh, they're probably not going to have Jax in the game, so Jackie would be a good person to take his role. Plus, the combat kids need to have more involvement rather than the older characters, because they've already like had their moment. So, And then Kung Jin, he's the last combat kid, so if you're going to put the other three in there, why not put him in there? Okay, the next row is the people that I think that will be serving Chronica, except for Kung Lao. I just put him there because he's like in Revenant form. I'll explain in the next row. So we have Devorah who's confirmed, and Garrus, and Scarlet who also have been confirmed. And Kung Lao's been shown off in like story mode, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be playable. Everybody seems to want Jade in the game, and I like Jade, she's one of my favorite characters too. But, uh, people think that Chronica and her are, are connected because of her MK9 ending. So it would make sense for her to return. Then we have Shang Tsung because one of the stages or maps or whatever you want to call it is named after him. And they don't have a sorcerer. So it would make sense. And it would make sense for him to serve Chronica since she'd probably bring him back somehow. Then our next row, we have all the people from Outworld that serve Kotal Kahn. And then we have another Revenant, which is Smoke, but I'll explain him after. So we got Rain, Tanya, Baraka, and Noob. So people seem to think that Noob's going to be in the game because of an icon that showed him. And also, he is a pretty good character, so I wouldn't mind him being, being in the game. Uh, Baraka's already confirmed. Uh... Kotal Khan seems like a for sure person to be in there because why would they make him the leader of Outworld and then just like forget about him? Tanya and Rain were against Kotal in the last game, but this game I think they'll be serving him in exchange for like living. And also, Rain was a DLC and then an unplayable character, and people were about to write, so I'm pretty sure Rain's gonna be on the main roster so that was all the main roster that's 26 people i know it's more than 25 but it's 26 
And then this top row is DLC along with the two outer rows. So those two sections on the left and the right. And then Shao Kahn, the pre-order bonus, is on the bottom on the right corner. So let's look at the top, the main DLC. Okay, so I don't think Johnny Cage will be base roster like everyone else thinks. I think he'll just be DLC because that's just a waste of a spot if we have Cassie. So please don't let him be main roster. Make him DLC. Melina, she's my favorite character. I don't think she'll be in the main roster this game, but I don't think they would forget her. So I think they would put her as DLC. Reptile, don't think he has a good chance of making the roster either. But another favorite, so probably DLC. Aaron Black. Uh, could be a DLC or could not even be in the game. But don't think he has a chance of being on the main roster. But he would be a cool DLC. And then for the guest characters, Spawn and Terminator. Then on the left, we have more DLC. We have Sindel. Ermac, Taven, Serena, Pennywise, and Michael Myers. Um, two of them are 3D era, two of them are MK3, then two of them are guest characters. Makes pretty good sense. Then you go over to the right and look at the final DLC, and I put Natara, Ashra, Jax, Lime, and a striker. Jax and Striker could have celebrities that are playing them because John Cena posted a thing about being a Striker or just posted a picture of Striker which made it seem suspicious and then Terry Crews as Jax that would be pretty cool did I say Kentaro? I don't know if I said Kentaro alright guys that's the end of the video I give you three DLC possible DLC rosters and a possible look at the main roster and yeah, hope you guys liked. Um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.